Hey guys, what's up and welcome to DWC Academy. My name is Ona Huyuai. Today, I'm going to be showing you how you can design your own YouTube end screen in Canva. Now, if this happens to be the first time you're coming to our YouTube channel, all I wanted to do is hit the subscribe button and also turn on the bell notification. If you like this video at any point in time, I wanted to give it a thumbs up. Now, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do when you get into Canva is to sign up if you haven't if you don't have an account you can sign up but if you do have an account you can just go ahead and sign in. Now I'm using a Canva Pro account but you can do this using a Canva free account. If you want to use Canva Pro for free I also have got a link in the description that link will give you access to Canva Pro free for 45 days and you can actually cancel that anytime. So let me show you what a YouTube end screen is and what you can really achieve with that. I'm going to go over to my YouTube channel here. I'm going to show you two types of designs that you can look at and draw inspiration from. Now, this is the one I created for one of my videos, how to create a particular art in Canva. Now, I added this particular end screen here. And what this end screen is doing is this end screen is going to allow people to interactively click on other videos that I have already published on my YouTube channel. Now, it also got a uh, place where you can add the link for people to subscribe to YouTube channel to tell you that this type of strategy that YouTube uh, added will help you grow your YouTube channel and increase more views for your YouTube videos. So what I did here was I added three, I added four cards here. The first two are for my videos, the other two are links. Now I can't add links here because I haven't gotten to a certain amount of recommendations that YouTube is requiring. So I'm just gonna wait until my community grows to that. But this is just what an end screen looks like. Now another one is by this person here called Cut Theo. She also has this in her video, one of her videos. Now you can see it's just saying thanks for watching and this is for you to subscribe and then she's suggesting that you just recommending you to watch one of her videos and 10 uh, videos, one of the videos that she's already created for you. And one good thing about your end screen is you can just put in um, your social media handles there, you can put all the links to your website, you can also advertise right there on your YouTube end screen and you can still put videos to link people to that particular video that you want them to watch. Okay, now this is one amazing thing about the YouTube end screen. So I'm going to show you two ways that you can create this. Okay, the first one is just for absolute beginners and then I'm going to take it a bit further to show you how you can make it into a video. So you can just add that video background kind of thing and also have it right there just like she's doing right here so you can see that the video part of it is actually playing right in the background and she's having this arrow here pointing that you just subscribe to her so let's say you've logged into canva the first thing you want to do is go ahead and say create new design and what i'm going to suggest that you do is go over to a video like this now you're not going to copy exactly what that video is or what the end screen is but you just want to have it as a guide or as a source of inspiration so for me i'm going to screen grab this one here since the size is 1080 by 1920 i'm just going to screen grab this right here and i'm just going to Bring it back into camera right here i'm just going to put it here and just resize it around here i'm also going to go ahead to reduce the transparency so you see the transparency is reduced a little bit and then that's it now it's just going to snap automatically to the background but that's no problem we can still work around it to make it look even uh, better by creating other pages that we're going to use for that. Now, the first thing you want to do is you're going to go over to shapes and when you go to shapes you're going to pick this one. What you want to do is we want to replicate the boxes that we have here because now for this one I'm going to make just two. I'm going to put it right here. Now you see we've created two and then another thing that I would like to do is I would like to add a subscribe button and I'm just going to go ahead and select this. But what I'm going to do is I want to resize it to exactly this one that we have here. So when I bring that into YouTube, it's going to be looking exactly 
or almost the same dimension. Now we've got the subscribe button right here. You notice that I use arrows to point just to direct people to what they should do. You can also do that or you can use animated buttons to do that as well. But I'm going to show you that when you are creating your animated YouTube end screen. So right now we're done with this. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy all of this. I'm going to cut it create a new page and I'm going to paste them right here. I could go ahead to change the color depending on your branding. Now in my case I could, uh, I want to just use one of these so I'll just put it like this but I don't want to have the same placement as I'm having here so it doesn't look like I'm copying someone else's design. So what I'm going to do is just play around with it. I'm going to bring this right here. I'm going to bring this right here and also this one. I'm just going to bring it here. And this, I'm going to put it right in the middle and just drag it right here. So this one has to go to the top a little bit. Now you can see that I've got this right here. I'm going to drag it to the middle right here. This is exactly what we have right now. I'm going to go to background and I'm going to choose a different background for this. Maybe this particular background here. I'm just going to apply it to this particular design. And I'm going to add one more thing here, which is more like the border for this particular images. So when I put them over to YouTube, I will still have that beautiful border design just around it. Now we can go over to Element and we can just search for Rectangle Border. Okay, let's see if we're going to find something that looks more like that. So you can see we've got some neon backgrounds here. We can just put that just around, around it like this. Put that like this, you can see it? And we're just gonna copy it and also put it here. Also choose this one, on border. We could just go say, near, around, border. Let's see if we're gonna get something like that. Okay, so we've got something like this too. You can see that we have this right here. Put it here if we don't like that we can take it up and put this one that is yellow right here so this one could just be subscribe here you can put subscribe around here and you can put uh, another video here and also another video here. but this time around you just want to go ahead and put a text so we're going to go over to text and here in text i'm going to use a uh, i'm going to use an existing text like so and we have this one do that twice so this particular one I'm gonna use this one so I'm gonna ungroup it and just take away this one so I'm bring that here maybe I'm gonna use them not sure and this particular one here will just be thank you for watching So I'm saying thank you for watching and I'm just going to put this in the middle and also change the alignment to center line. Now you see that we have this beautiful worms here. I'm going to add another title here and here I'm going to say okay so I'm going to say Recommended recommended videos for you. Now the reason I'm putting this is so people will know that after watching that video they could go ahead to watch this particular video maybe because it explains better what I just talked about or it's just a recommended video more like a complimentary video for the first one that you just watched. So I'm going to go back to elements and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to search for arrows and then you can see that we have different curved arrows and all of that uh, kind of thing so let's just choose one that is not animated something like this you can find them here so many of them so you can just see a lot of them here you can have this one i like this one so let's take it and we're also going to just change the outline color to white okay hope that changed okay didn't change so yeah it did so we're going to have that here i'm just going to go ahead and flip it and just rotate it to say 130 degrees depends. okay so I'm saying the recommended video is this one here and I'm also going to duplicate that particular video 
uh, that particular element and also I'm going to flip it this way. Good. Now I'm just going to rotate it like this. So this is going to be 55. And I'm also going to put it just right here. Okay. So you can see that I have this stuff here, this arrows telling them this videos are recommended. I want you to watch them. The next thing I want to do is I want to say, I want to put here subscribe. So that's what I'm going to say here. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to make this one really bold because uh, that's what I want. And then I'm also going to go to effects and say I want to curve. This time around it's going to be starting from negative 50. And I'm going to just put it around here, around here. But I want it to be a lot bigger and also to the bottom. So let's just reduce this a little bit. Okay, so this is cool. So you can see here I'm saying don't forget to subscribe. Now, if you don't like the color, you can go ahead and change the color of this entirely. The next part for us to do is to add up our social media handles. You can say, follow me on YouTube, follow me on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. And you just put your handle at Okay, so this is it. I'm telling you, you can follow me on YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram using this particular handle right here. And that's okay. You can just go ahead and also put in the icons for this social media account that you just mentioned. Just put it here. You've got Facebook, you've got Instagram, get the actual size, and then you also got Facebook. So we've got YouTube. Okay, now we've got YouTube as well. Here is it. Got YouTube. All right. So here is it. Now all you need to do is you can just go ahead and change the color to white, and also change this one to white, and this one to white as well. Now that's it. You're good. Or you could just change this. Follow me on social media. That is better than you just put this right here. All you could do is raise it up and you can choose where you want to put it, maybe on the left side or on the right side. It all depends on wherever you want to put it. Now, this is how you go ahead to create your own end screen for YouTube. Now, after creating this end screen, the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and download it. Downloading this simply means going over to download here, to the download button, and you are going to choose PNG high quality if you want to take it to 1980 by uh, 1080 it's totally fine that is super recommended and you're just going to choose the page you want page 2 go ahead and just go ahead and download it now you have successfully downloaded your own YouTube end screen the next thing for you to do is to go ahead and put it in your uh, video editor where you are recording your video and so that will be able to work on YouTube this is how to create a static one. To create an interactive one, we're going to replicate this and I'm going to show you how that's going to work. We're going to just duplicate this and we're just not going to make so much changes here. What we're going to do is go to this one and I'm going to go and say animate. I'm going to give it an animation, maybe something like this or something like this. Just choose any animation that you want here and just add that to it. Maybe this or this. It's not fine. I don't want this. This should work. Okay, this is gonna work. It's like breathing, okay? Uh, and then for this recommended, you can just put it here like this. It's gonna be fine. Now, for the arrows, we want to make sure that the arrows are animated arrows. So we're gonna go over to this part and we'll say arrows. And we are gonna go to the filter and we're gonna choose animated. And we're just gonna go this way. Now you can see that we're having different arrows here. We're gonna choose the one that is pointing towards the direction that we want and with the shape that we already want. So in my case, I am going to I'm going to choose, I'm looking for okay, this is good. This is good. So we're gonna choose this one. The color is white already, so we don't have to worry about it. And then we are just going to flip it this way and just this way. But right now we are going to reduce it a little bit and just make sure it's coming from here. 
can see that that's good we're also going to duplicate it i'm going to bring it here and i'm also going to just put it this way and this way this way this way is good then just push it a little bit like this now you can see that we've got this uh looking so cool and when we go ahead to play it when we go ahead we also want to add another arrow coming up saying don't forget to subscribe and we're gonna put that right here so we're just gonna make that um here okay this one is just gonna be here it's bouncing towards that direction so do not forget to subscribe so that's cool all right you see it going right there and the next part we want to do is to see if we can change the background to a video background all right so just choose background and choose video background all right so let's see if we could get something for like 10 seconds or so just choosing this to see if we're gonna have something okay now this seems to be good this is cool and this is also nice so let's go with this so we're going to replace the background with something like this and if we go ahead to play this video so you can see the background right now people will have a tendency to click on each of this video and to also subscribe to your youtube channel so this is the point where i would say thank you for watching my video and i've got recommended videos for you as well don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel if you do like this video give it a thumbs up